Hey everyone, Mark here from RuneScapers, and welcome to my item overview on the Wicked Hood. In this video, we will be going over what the Wicked Hood is, and how you can make upwards of 380k GP or more every single day utilizing what the item has to offer. As a disclaimer, prices may have changed since the recording of this video, since it is around double XP. What exactly is the Wicked Hood? The Wicked Hood is a members only item that is obtained from either Tam McGrubber in Birthorp or from Wizard Phoenix in the Wizard's Tower for 175 rune span points. The Wicked Hood functions the same as a talisman, which is to grant access to runecrafting altars. Before it can be used at one of the specific altars, you must feed the designated talisman or tiara to the Wicked Hood. Keep in mind, this does consume the item. This can also be utilized for all runecrafting altars in the game. Since the Wicked Hood does not offer a slot for Astral, nor is there an Astral Talisman or Tiara in game, the only way to get to the Astral Altar is via teleporting to Lunar Isle and running to the altar after the completion of the Lunar Diplomacy quest. As a quick note, the Air and Mind Altars are automatically unlocked when you obtain the Wicked Hood. Once fed an Omni Talisman, or Omni Tiara, the Rune Essence is upgraded to Pure Essence. This is a key part in the money-making guide to this video. You can obtain an Omni Talisman by talking to Wizard Elris in the Runecrafting Guild. If you would like to make an Omni Tiara, take the Omni Talisman and a normal Tiara to Wizard Korvac in the Runecrafting Guild. And it is possible to obtain more than one Omni Tiara by doing this. And if you're curious, you receive an Omni Talisman by taking one of each Talisman in the game to Wizard Elris and showing them to her. Now we're on to the useful items. Perhaps the most important item to have would be the full Wicked Robe set with the cape. This can be purchased from Runespan for 25k points from Wizard Phoenix, and after being purchased it can be sitting in a bank for the set effects to activate. The set effect is as follows applying to the Wicked Hood. A total of 175 Rune or Pure Essence stored, one additional daily teleport for a total of 3, and 5 rune withdraws. When worn, the set also gives a negative 34 kilogram weight reduction, which is helpful for running, but you don't want to be wearing this outfit while doing this method. And I'll explain why in the next clip. The ethereal outfits are the best in slot for this video's money making method. There are three different types of ethereal outfits, which are Law, Blood, and Death. These combine to make the Infinity Outfit, which is considered the best outfit for this method, or arguably, runecrafting as a whole. The Law, Blood, and Death store a total of 6 Essence, while the Infinity Outfit stores 12. The Outfit also acts as the Wicked Hood, or the Mauritania Legs, when crafting Blood Runes, if owned. Next up would be the runecrafting pouches. Mostly obtained from the Abyss, by checking the RuneScape Wiki, you can learn how to obtain the others. These hold essence and can collectively store an extra 48 per trip. Moving on to the summoning familiars, these abyssal familiars can hold rune or pure essence, which also allows for even more runes made per trip. The combined catalyst fragment cuts the pouch degrade rate by 50%, and it also stacks with the ethereal outfits. Law, blood, and death for a total of 75%, and the infinity to a total of 100%, which means with the infinity outfit, the pouches will never degrade. You also can use the Pouch Protector Relic, which is one of the newest additions to the game with Archaeology. Once you have achieved 36 Archaeology and have completed the Zamorakian 1 collection, combine the Abyssal Thread with a Giant Pouch. This makes a Threads of Fate Relic. And when turning this into the Monolith at the Archaeology Guild, you will unlock this Relic Power. This gives 100% Pouch Protection, which means your pouches will never degrade, and it is also similar to the 100% protection you can achieve from having the Infinity Ethereal Outfit and the Combined Catalyst Fragment. As an optional item, you can also use Wicked Hood Teleport Tokens, which are a common prize from the Treasure Hunter. When consumed, the Wicked Hood Teleport Token gives 3 teleports per 1 token to the Wicked Hood at a maximum of 30 teleports max charge, or 10 tokens. This can really add up to some insane GP an hour when using this method. Now we'll move on to my gear setup and inventory. Shown on screen is my personal gear and inventory setup. As follows, I am wearing the Full Infinity Ethereal Outfit, Combined Catalyst Fragment, Completionist Cape, Ring of Whispers, and the Necklace of Shadows. Now I use the Ring of Whispers Necklace of Shadows with the Combined Catalyst Fragment so that I can get a little extra XP when I'm doing this daily run. 
I also use an Abyssal Titan, which is full of pure essence as well. As a side note, any cape can be used realistically as we will be using the PVM hub or Max Guild for a quick bank. Now for the method and how it's done. After you're all geared up and ready to go, make sure to fill all of your rune pouches, ethereal body, and your familiar. Then click on your wicked hood and select either the blood or nature rune icon to select that altar. Then click teleport to be teleported to the altar you selected. From there, we will enter the runes and begin crafting the runes. Once you've completed your first crafting, click on the Wicked Hood again and click on Essence to withdraw Essence into your inventory. Repeat this process until the Wicked Hood is out of Essence, then click on the Runes text, and then select which rune you would like to receive. Typically, I will choose whatever rune I am crafting to save inventory space when I bank. After this, return to your preferred bank location, such as the previous mentioned PVM Hub or Max Guild, to refill your pouches, body, and familiar. Then rinse and repeat two more times to use up all of your daily teleports, or repeat this process if you have the Wicked Hood teleport tokens, and make all the GP you want. If we go on to the profits, once we finish up our daily run, if we price check the loot, you can see from the blood runes we made roughly 388k, and from the nature runes about 422k. This literally took about 3 to 5 minutes depending on your speed to do so which is definitely a quick and consistent money-making method that doesn't take any time to do at all, and can be added into your daily routine pretty seamlessly. In conclusion, I really hope you enjoyed learning a bit about the Wicked Hood over the course of this video, and also how to properly utilize it to make a quick amount of GP daily. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to leave a like, and if you have any suggestions, please feel free to put them in the comments section below. Lastly, if you would like to see more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with all of the latest content and series progression. That does it for me though. Thank you again so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Marth out.